Hello everyone, so I'm here today to jump on the current Project Pen kind of bandwagon and do my Project Use It Up 2016 master list and my January goals. I got the idea of a master list from Curious Sparkles or Maggie here on YouTube. She has been keeping a master list and doing monthly goals for her Project Use It Up this year and I've thoroughly enjoyed watching her videos and seeing her progress so I'm pretty much doing exactly what she did this year and uh, using it, adapting it to my collection. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to run through my goals for my master list and also tell you what my January goals are as well. I've got two different categories of goals. I've got ones for my makeup collection and ones for my skincare collection. I don't have anything for hair care because I don't think I have really I have an enormous collection of hair care products but I also have two different types of goals. Some are using up very specific products and others are using up more uh, general categories of products. Please let me know if you're going to be watching these videos throughout this year how you would like me to structure these. If you would like me to show you the products that I'm planning on using up or just run through a list of them. Uh, it'd be quicker if I just run through a list but if you'd prefer for me to have props then please let me know. Today I don't have any props unfortunately but please let me know if you would like me to in the future. I will also say that with some of these goals I have set rewards for when I meet those goals because I do want to feel like I'm moving towards something more than um, just downsizing my collection. I want to be curating it and working towards getting products I really want in it and really like in it so that's why I've added them but I also haven't really solidified what my rewards are going to be. I think I need to think about them a little bit more. So I'm not going to share them in this video, but if you're interested, I can let you know. Um, I just haven't finalized them, so I don't really want to say them in a video and then for them to not be true, that kind of thing. I'll start off with my makeup goals. My first makeup goal is to finish half of my foundations. I currently have seven, so I would like to finish four of them. Four of those seven are actually mini sample sizes, so I think that's a really doable goal. I'd also like to finish up concealer. I currently have three concealers and a corrector, so I don't think finishing one would be too hard. I want to hit pan in a blush. I've never hit pan in a blush, and I have plenty of blushes to work through, so I'd like to hit pan in at least one of them. It'll probably be a cream blush because they're typically easier to pan, and I have worked out that my reward for doing that will be the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure, because I have wanted that blush for a very, very long time, and so I'd re be rewarding myself for finishing or um, panning a blush by buying that one. I'd like to hit pan in a highlighter. I absolutely adore highlighters, so I have plenty of them, but again, have never hit pan in one. I would like to finish my Benefit High Beam. That's a liquid highlighter. I've currently been using it to mix in with my primer to create a luminizing primer. Instead of purchasing a luminizing primer, I just make my own, and I've been making really steady progress on that this year, and I'm more than confident that I will finish it this year. I'd like to finish up a bronzer. So I have a few bronzers, but I've only started using bronzer this year and I've been working on my MAC Pro Longwear Blush in Baby Don't Go. If you followed my project pan earlier this year, I'm very close to finishing that up. So I may count that as my finished bronzer or I may try and finish another one. I also have another bronzer in my project uh, pen roulette which will be coming next week um, and that one I'm hoping to hit pan in but maybe I'll finish another one. I'd like to finish my two Maybelline color tattoos. I have one in Barely Branded and one in Tough as Top. I use Barely Branded all over the lid and I have very little product left in that so that shouldn't be a problem. Tough as taupe will be a bit harder because I use it in my brows. Uh, that means that I've had it for many years so it is drying out quite a bit. I'm being a little bit ambitious and saying I would like to finish up a pigment. I'm thinking I have a sample of MAC pigment in tan so I might try and finish that one up but I've set myself some really ridiculous goals for eyeshadows this year so I'm not sure if I'll be able to complete that one. I want to hit pan in every shade of my the Balm's Balm's Eye Palette. That's my Pen That Palette goal for this year. If you haven't seen my Pen That Palette project, I can link it down below for you to watch my introduction, but I'm going to be trying to hit pen in every shade of the Balm's Balm's Eye Palette. I would also like to finish an additional eyeshadow um, to the Balm's Eye Palette. I don't know if that will happen because finishing an eyeshadow while panning other eyeshadows could be pretty difficult, but I'll see how I go. I want to finish up two eyeliners. I think that's perfectly doable. I think last year I finished about three or four, so I think this year I can finish up two. I want to finish ten lip products. I don't think I finished 10 this year unless you count my lip balms, 
but I do want to work through a lot more lip products this year and I think I can really do it this year. I'm not sure if I will hit a goal of 10 because that's quite a few lip products but I'm going to see how well I can go. I want to finish up two Revlon lip glosses that I have. They're the Super Lustrous Lip Glosses in Kiss Me Coral and Pango Peach. They're the currently the two lip glosses in my um, Finish Six Over Summer project and I know that if I finish those two lip glosses I will treat myself to the YSL tint in oil. I've wanted that for a really long time as well and I think if I can work through two lip glosses I can reward myself with one. I also want to finish the Maybelline Color Whisper in Orange Attitude. That's another product in the Finish Six Over Summer. Another ambitious goal is to finish three nail polishes not counting base and top coats. I've got a lot of nail polish and I really want to start working through it. I've never finished one before and I just kind of want to see how far I can get. Three is a lot considering um, not many of my nail polishes have very much use on them already but I think if I can get into a habit of painting my nails more regularly probably not as often as Pretty Pistol 86 paints them because she is an absolute master at it but more often than I have before and I think I can achieve that goal but it also might be way too ambitious, I'm not sure. In addition to that, I want to finish up two nail strips. I have two nail strips. I've had them for a really long time, and I've never used them before, uh, nail strips at all, or the ones that I have, so I'd like to finish those up. And then I have three fragrances that I want to finish. I want to finish my Marc Jacobs Honey Fragrance, my The Body Shops uh, Peach Vineyard Peach Body Mist, and the Bath & Body Works Pink Chiffon Fine Fragrance Mist. For skincare, I have a much smaller list because I just moved through skincare at a pretty steady pace so I know I will eventually finish all of it whereas my makeup I think I need to make focus points for it. I'd like to finish three facial sprays. I currently have four, um, two of in Thermal Spring Waters, a La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water and MAC Fix Plus. I have uh, two of my smaller thermal spring waters in my Project Pan Roulette as well, so I'm giving some spoilers for that project, but um, it will be up next week. So I think I can finish three of those, that seems really reasonable. Specifically also I wanted to finish up my MAC Fix Plus. I purchased it and I just want to spend time using it because I really enjoy the product, but I just don't really use it as often as I should. I would also like to finish my Origin Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I bought it a long time ago and I just need to use it more often. I I used to treat it as kind of a special occasion product, but I'm just getting too old, I really need to use it. I have two spot treatments and I'd like to finish both of those. One is from Aveen and the other is from Clearasil. I want to finish three soaps or shower gels. I'm currently on the uh, track to finishing one of them this month, but um, I would like to finish three. Oh, Probably more than three but I set myself the goal of three. I'd also like to finish three lotions. Again I would like to finish many more than three but I'll set myself a goal of three because I think that's more achievable. And lastly I want to finish my Bondi Sands tanning lotion. I never fake tan ever 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 so I've had this fake tan for too long and I would just like to use it up. So those are my goals for 2016 of the products uh, I want to finish and the categories I want to focus on. Now I've got my specific January goals and I'll just run through those really quickly. I'd like to finish my Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Pango Peach. I'd also like to finish a mini nail polish I have from Orly in Terracotta. It's the color I'm currently wearing on my fingers and toes. I'd like to finish my Sukin Natural Deodorant. It's just a deodorant I'm using and I'd like to finish it. I'd like to finish my The Body Shop um, Fresh Harvest Riceberry Shower Gel, I think is what it's called. I'm very, very close to that, so I think I'll finish it. Uh, I'd also like to finish my MAC Pro Longwear Blush in Baby Don't Go. That's what I'm currently using as a bronzer and there's very little product left in it. I want to use my Origins Drink Up Intensive eight times, so twice a week for the next month. I also want to use my Bondi Sands Tanning Lotion three times. I haven't used it in about a month and a half, so I'd really like to get some more use out of it this month. And I'd also like to use some Ren treatments that I purchased for our Christmas set over the holidays. Um, I'd like to use at least one of those a week. There are three products in the set that I purchased over Christmas and I'd like to use one of them from those three four times this month. So those are my January goals and my general 2016 goals. If you do a project view snap or have some beauty collection goals in general, please let me know so I can come and watch and support you over the next year. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.